<laughs> Focus on me. We're back to our regularly scheduled program. The wings. Mickey Mouse Club House. content. We we'll like your dream. Telling you to subscribe. Hey everyone. I know my hair's grey. Anyway, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I don't like this nonsense at all. Someone stole my necklace and I'm not having it. Where is my necklace? Where is my necklace? What kind of nonsense is this? Please give me back my necklace. Please give me back my necklace. I don't understand. Please give me back my necklace. Juliet, ah. Juliet, look. I'm your elder sister. You should speak to me with some respect. Respect indeed. Mom, you deserve respect. Yes, mom. Then don't take your sister's things. Cast members of this movie include Jimmy Odukoya, Sandra Okunzoa, Bere, and Bolaji Ogumola. And I are this one. The first thing I noticed about this film was the picture, was the tint. It had a bluish tint to it. And at first, I thought it was my phone screen. But alas, it wasn't. It was the movie. So it had a bluish thing to it. Like I didn't personally, I didn't really fancy the picture quality. This movie was mad mediocre. This movie had I have a lot of questions for this film. I just realized that I don't need to do pros and cons again when I'm doing my when I'm doing my video. So let me just do it this time. Okay. So pros of this movie. I like the cast members. The cast, the cast members brought their A game. They could act very well. Um, you know, nothing seemed forced except for helen i don't know i didn't really get, get that helen's acting so forget the synopsis that they give maria is maria is a therapist maria is played by Bologna, Gumbola. so maria goes on one day and she finds she couldn't find her fiance her fiance's name is roy she couldn't find her fiance so she calls everybody like where's roy where's roy the people that were like the people that she called said they don't know where roy is so three years later we are introduced to tony and her family that's tony juliet and their mom tony is the other sister and juliet is the younger sister tony just got her heart broken you know i think her boyfriend broke up with her prior to his birthday so you know she's depressed she's always like lounging at home she doesn't have a job then she decides to go on to go on therapy and her therapist is Maria, that Tony now goes on this dating site, then she meets this man named Ethan. Now her and Ethan, they talk on the dating site for about a month. Then when they're now about to exchange numbers, um, Juliet, that Juliet has some kind of, I don't know, beef. Juliet has some kind of beef with her older sister. Because Tony stepped out of the room when Jul when uh, Ethan was texting. And Ethan was like, okay, give me your number. And Juliet walks into the room and Juliet now decides to give Ethan her number instead of Tony's number. Am I making sense? Yeah. Tony never sent a picture to Ethan. So Ethan did not know what Tony looks like. Juliet goes in place of Tony and they start to date and eventually they get engaged. Okay, so a few things. <laughs> I don't even know if I like this movie because this movie, the story was just somehow like the story. I can the premise of the story was good, and I liked. I like to think that where they intended to go with the film would have me been great. This misconception, misconception that if you're playing a doctor in Nigeria, like therapist, whatever, you have to wear glasses. You all need to dead it. Not every therapist wears glasses. And second, that therapist's office needs some work. Like you guys, you can look at how thera what therapists' offices are supposed to look like. It's supposed to be spacious. It's supposed to make your patients comfortable. Like because they were like too close to each other. It was literally a desk separating them. MP about this film was really uh, about Tony, Ethan, and Juliet. Now. Tony and Drew and Ethan were have supposedly to be talking on the phone for about a month and the fact that Ethan when he met Juliet did not clock it that there's something wrong somewhere like didn't you notice like wasn't the way Juliet spoke and the way Tony spoke different like the Juliet and Tony like I mean you're getting to know yourselves obviously and in getting to know yourselves talk I would assume that this is where you say what you like and what you don't like and if it's if it's for a month right so you're supposed to gauge how this person responds responds to other things like okay let's say now uh, Juliet and uh, Tony had a way of always responding to things when like if you pose some certain questions to her she will respond in the same way I you trying to tell me that Juliet responded in the exact same way and let's say now Tony said, okay, I don't like ice cream. And yeah, you're not going on a date with Juliet. And Juliet all of a sudden now says, I want to have ice cream. 
uh, but you, you remember that Tony said she doesn't like ice cream. Another example, let's say now Tony said she can't swim. Then all of a sudden, you see Tony, that's Juliet, swimming. Like, I don't get how he wasn't even suspicious. Like, I expected him to say something like, you know, you don't seem like the person I was chatting with. Like, sometimes I think you're a different person. Because clearly, it would be, be, be very obvious that this person that is here and this person I was chatting with are not the same person. Juliet introduced herself as Tony. Like, I feel like I think that's obvious. Juliet introduced herself as Tony. So, the only time when she was talking to Ethan and she now referred to her big sister as Tony. And he didn't even clock it that okay why are you calling your sister tony like and you people supposedly went to the church to go and you know to get things ready for your wedding and she took her birth certificate didn't you see that there was no tony on the birth certificate so surprise surprise from this not self you, you will realize that ethan and roy are one and the same person so ethan supposedly lost his memory and he did not ask <sighs> did he realize that anytime he tried to think the whole thing that his dad said that he lost his memory and i adopted it on my son like you a grown-ass man you did not realize that the fact that you couldn't remember anything about your past was a problem or you don't you didn't just think about your past at all like help me to understand i beg or the fact that your sister your supposedly blood sister who was coming on to you in a sexual way that did not give you some kind of ting -a -ling, -a ling ringing bells in your head and why did her no i have a lot of questions this movie has a lot of i feel like this movie has plot holes this movie the um uh continuity wasn't the best like it wasn't the best and i don't know this movie was just very uh, just very meh honestly you will not miss much if you don't watch it would i recommend it mm, you can if you want to but i think you can do without it and i would rate this movie 5 over 10. the movie was <laughs> if you've not subscribed to my youtube channel what are you waiting for make sure you hit that little bell because make sure you hit the subscribe button and hit the little bell because the subscribe button so you can be part of the notification gang and tell me what you think if you watch this movie don't forget to like share comment thank you bye